Microsoft and 343 actually discussed about releasing Halo Infinite in pieces to reach the deadline. So in this video, we're going to give you all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button so it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Helps more people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So let's get right into the video here. So as we all know by now, I'm sure that we know that Halo Infinite has been delayed until 2021. As we probably saw from the gameplay demo, there are some rough edges on the game that definitely need to be cleaned up before the release. Obviously with Halo Infinite meaning to be basically the big console seller for the Xbox Series X coming out this November, Microsoft really wanted this game to be on launch day, much like we had back on the console of the Xbox back in 2001. And Microsoft wanted Halo Infinite as a release title so badly, they actually discussed about releasing Halo Infinite in different sections to meet that release. Phil Spencer actually revealed that they were in discussions with 343's Bonnie Ross and Xbox Game Studios chief Matt Booty to potentially shipping the game in different pieces. This information was actually leaked out by Brad Sams a while ago saying that they were probably going to ship Infinite without multiplayer. One source is telling me, and this is only one source so I can't absolutely scream it from the higher tops, but they've been pretty decent in the past. Uh, one source is saying that multiplayer is not going to be shipping with single player this fall. Later on, you saw Sketch reply to that tweet saying, Nothing to see here, folks. This is not true. Kind of information, kind of just slapping that down, putting a stamp on it like that's not happening. Which, at the moment of that information being revealed, probably was true. Now, if you guys don't know who Brad Sams is, he's a known informational guy when it comes to Microsoft products in general, Xbox gaming as well, and also has some few insiders in there. So, usually when he has credible sources, you know, he kind of gives us some good information before it's actually officially announced. And so I trust Brad Sam's most of the times with his information. I'll leave a link to Brad Sam's Twitter and YouTube channel down below, guys. Definitely give him a follow. Definitely worth listening to what he has to say. And it seems like he actually got correct information. He just got it at the wrong time. Now, releasing Halo Infinite in bits and pieces to make sure it meets that, you know, opening day release of the Series X. To me, doesn't sound like a good idea, and it seemed the same when it came to 343 and Microsoft. Phil Spencer was quoted here saying, It just didn't feel right to all of us like the Halo release we wanted. It's a bummer. I know it's disappointing to people. It's disappointing to us. We were looking forward to the alignment of Halo and the Series X really as a seminal moment for the Xbox, looking back to the launch of the original Xbox and Halo CE, which I'm glad that Microsoft was able to see that point as well. You know, our previous releases with Halo have not been stellar with Halo 5's lack of content, MCC's, well, uh, not so fantastic launch and Halo 4's poor reception has really kind of tarnished the Halo franchise as a whole. You know, I personally really enjoyed Halo 5. MCC is a great game now, but at their launches, they were not fully realized products as Halo fans come to expect. And that's what they're looking to do with Infinite. They want to do Halo right. And the way to do Halo right is having a very solid launch and releasing the game out in bits and pieces just isn't the way to do it. I, trust me, I am super bummed about not being able to play Halo Infinite this fall. I was really looking forward to it. We've been building up this channel for years up until this point, but you know what? I'd much rather have the game release in a proper state rather than having to just kind of wait until we get the full product essentially, like kind of like we did with Halo 5. Yes, it sucks that this delay is happening, but I'm really glad to see that Microsoft and 343 are willing to maintain the integrity of the game for its original release to make sure when the game is released it is well received by the fan base and has everything a new fan would want to play with as well when it comes to Halo Infinite. And I'm sure a lot of this was beyond 343's control. I mean, COVID's really messed up everything when it comes to everything really and so you know it's it's understandable situations that, that uh, 343 has to go through when it comes to doing this and so a delay i think is very important and uh, i'm glad to see that uh, microsoft and 343 do agree on that as well. Do we have an idea? I did release a previous video talking about when we can expect Halo Infinite's release, as there have been other major titles that have been affected by the COVID 
pandemic talking about when we can expect the release of halo infinite obviously halo has its own challenges and situations that it needs to take control of before releasing a full product so i would definitely suggest checking out that video guys if you want a good idea of when we can expect the release of halo infinite also just gotta say brad sands was done kind of dirty by 343 in the situation i mean the information he presented was correct at some point just by the time he actually posted it and heard it it probably wasn't. I'm sure this uh, decision to release the game as an incomplete package was probably done rather quickly. It seems like what Phil Spencer was mentioning that, yeah, they kind of had this idea. They floated it around a little bit, see what they could make work, and they decided to go, no, nope, not happening. Hey, we're gonna have to delay this game completely, which again, I completely agree with. But what are your guys' thoughts on this? Do you think that releasing Halo Infinite in pieces to make sure we get a chance to play it this fall would be a good idea? Or would you rather wait for the entire package to be released all at once? Personally, I'm all I'm waiting for the all at once kind of package deal. Uh, but I know a lot of people out there are very excited to play Halo Infinite, me included. Uh, maybe some of you guys out there would be willing to uh, play just bits and pieces. I know a lot of people are just multiplayer or just campaign or just forge, things like that. Uh, so I'd like to see what your guys' thoughts on this as well. I do read the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen. Got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. So thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.